okay so in this video now we will add the footstep sounds okay so for adding that simply get back right here to the script and let's create a header okay and this header name will be footsteps in here first of all we need a reference to the audio source of the left and right foot okay so first of all what we're gonna do is on unity click on player right here click on add component and add a audio source to the player like this okay make the blend of it 3d and let's make the volume as 0 0.5 so that it is not that much loud okay that is it then get back right here let's now say public audio source left foot audio source okay copy this paste it down below change the left to right that is it and then we need to create a array of type audio clip so you will say audio clip and inside this audio clip we will add our footstep sounds so we will say footstep sounds okay then after this we need to create a float which will be the time interval between each footstep okay so we will say public float footstep interval this will be by default equals to 0 0.5 okay and then after this we will create a private float by the name of next footstep time okay then after this we will create a private rule which will be is left footstep and this will be equals to true okay so this next footstep will be the time when the next footstep should be play okay and this is left footstep this will keep the track of which footstep to play next okay and this one now if we scroll down right here after this handle gravity let's create a method for the player footstep sounds or actually just sound okay and in here first of all we will get a random footstep sound clip okay so for doing that we will say audio clip footstep clip this will be equals to footstep sounds and from the footstep sound as i told you we will get a random footstep sound clip so we will say random dot range we will pass zero and then the footstep sounds dot length okay now after this we want to play the footstep sound on the appropriate audio source based on which footstep it is okay so if the footstep is left okay then what we want to do we want to play the left foot audio source okay or you can say the left foot sound so we will say play one shot and let's pass the footstep clip like that now if it is the right foot then you want to play the right foot okay so we will just simply change this to right and that will be it okay now after this we will toggle the footstep indicator for the next time so in order to do that right here 
we will say is left footstep equals to is left foot step not okay or you can say false that is all to the player footstep sound now if we scroll up right here before the handle jump we will now handle footsteps so what we're gonna do right here we will check if the player is moving and if the player is moving then it's time to play a footstep sound okay so we will say if the player is on the ground and also the player velocity dot magnitude is greater than 0 0.1 f okay it means if the player is moving and also if the time dot time is greater than the next footstep sound okay footstep time actually sorry not sound so if that is the case then we want to play the footstep sound and also we will set the next footstep time to time dot time plus footstep interval okay so that there is a little bit time between each of these step okay because we don't want the player steps to be quick okay we want it to be a little bit slow based on the player movement okay think that is all to the footstep sound now if you save this get back to unity it shows these uh, two errors on line 44 and 47 so if we go ahead and check line 44 right here okay right here i didn't type uh, time dot time i don't know why it automatically add the next footstep okay right here you need to type time dot time okay as you can see when i type time it shows this so i think i accidentally select that okay but it is actually time and right here as well time dot time when you do that get back to unity again and the arrows will be gone now click on player right here we need to provide this audio source in both of them and also we need to provide the footstep sound so if you go inside the audios and let's find this footstep right here as you can see okay click on player drag and drop the footstep sound in this and that will be it let me check if my skin recorder is recording the desktop audio okay it is recording okay i just want to make sure so that you guys can also hear the footstep sound or else it will not make any sense if you can't hear the footstep sound okay so now if you play the game okay let's walk as you can see the footstep sound is playing perfectly fine So in this way, you can add a first step sound to your own player as well. So I hope you understand how to add that and this done. Let's end this video right here.